How do I identify whether a solution is either acidic in nature or basic in nature? The very simple way is with the use of indicator. There should be some indicator. Even if on the road, if you are driving and you want to take a turn, you would point an indicator whether you want to take a right turn or a left turn. So indicators help us understand an indication what the thing actually pertains to. Similarly, with uh, the indicators here, we can understand whether the solution is actually acidic acidic in nature or basic in nature. Now, there can be numerous indicators. It's not required that you have to be in a chemistry lab to understand whether the solution is acidic or basic in nature. You can try it at your very home at itself. Now, we would understand indicators in two ways. Indicators can either be natural or they can be synthetic in nature. Today, we would understand examples of four natural indicators and three synthetic indicators. So let's begin with the natural indicators. The first natural indicator that we talk about is litmus. You might wonder, this litmus is obtained from what? This litmus is natural. It is obtained from lichens. And originally, it is purple in color in distilled water. Uh, if it is extracted from lichens, it is uh, purple color in distilled water. And then for the laboratories, we do have the two litmus paper which are commonly used. Those are the red litmus and the blue litmus. I have an example of a red litmus here and a blue litmus here. Blue litmus turns red with acidic solution. How do we understand this? So I just take one strip of this blue litmus paper. As you can see, it is pure, uh, it's blue in color. Okay, there are two. So I'll just take one. Now I have some lemon juice with me. In this lemon juice, I dip this litmus paper. And as you can see, the color changed to pinkish red. And this is how we understand blue litmus turns red in a acidic solution. So this was a blue litmus turning red. Now when I say blue litmus gets red, so you can remember this as bar, a good chocolate bar. So enjoy that. B for basic, uh, B for blue, okay, A for acidic and R for red. So how do you remember? Blue litmus turns to red in a acidic solution and we remember this as BAR bar. Now I take another example. I have the red litmus paper. The red litmus paper if you open is actually pinkish white in color not actually red but this is the litmus paper we call this as red litmus. Now on this red litmus I have a window cleaner and as you can see this red litmus turns blue. Now Whatever we are studying, we would understand those with the color combinations and the color code here. Now, as for the litmus paper, in acidic solution, it turns red. We have written this, is in a, this in a red box to help you understand. And blue in basic, okay? So, in basic solution, it turns blue. Now, uh, this is very, very important. If the solution is neither acidic nor basic, I don't have an example of water here, but if you drop it in the water, what would happen? There would be no change in the color. And we call these solutions as neutral solutions. The substances which are neither acidic nor basic and their pH is 7. So pH is an indicator. If the pH is less than 7, we say it is acidic solution. If the pH is more than 7, we say it is basic solution. So the first natural indicator we understood is litmus. The second natural indicator is China rose, hibiscus flower. Now, hibiscus flower is interesting. You take that hibiscus flower, crush it and keep it in water for some time until that hibiscus water actually leaves its color and the water becomes pinkish. Now that pink water, if you keep it in a base, if you react it with a base, it would give you green color. However, if there is acid, it would become magenta, dark pink in color. So China rose, 
again a very good example you can get some hibiscus flowers from your nearby and try this at your home good examples you can take is the common household examples we are taking so lemon water is a good acidic example uh, window cleaner could be a good basic example which you can take or antacid tablets if you have is another good example that you can take the next is for a base okay so china rose you can definitely experiment with the next natural indicator which we talk about is turmeric commonly called as haldi now uh, i have this uh, cloth which i actually dipped in the turmeric water and this cloth is yellow in color now what would happen if i dip a piece of this cloth in this lemon juice in this lemon juice if i dip it the color does not change it remains yellow only and therefore turmeric in acidic solution remains the same color it is yellow but this uh, turmeric cloth which is dipped in turmeric water i have certain base which is the window cleaner that i spray and as you can see the color changes to brick red and turmeric therefore is a natural indicator indicating that this window cleaner is an example of a basic solution in a basic solution it turns brick red in color so this was about turmeric the next indicator that we understand is cabbage you might have enjoyed red cabbage uh, as a vegetable this red cabbage is again a very good indicator the juice from the red cabbage is purple in color if this is dipped in acidic solution it gives red color if it is dipped in a basic solution it gives green color so red cabbage another good natural indicator four natural indicators that we have discussed what are those litmus obtained from lichens then we have turmeric uh, then we have china rose and red cabbage now we would move to synthetic indicators the first synthetic indicator we would talk about is phenolphthalein uh, i have the phenolphthalein sample here so this is how phenolphthalein powder actually looks like now this phenolphthalein i have dissolved in water now this is a phenolphthalein solution if i uh, take this phenolphthalein and i put some acid in it what would happen this phenolphthalein would remain colorless but what would happen with the base with the base it would change to pink now uh, i just have this much of phenolphthalein i don't have the water here but no worries i keep this in two flask so in one flask is in these two flask we have the phenolphthalein solution okay now in the bigger flask let me put some lemon drops i put some lemon drops here and let's see is there any change in the color no change so with acid this phenolphthalein gives no change in the color now with this phenolphthalein which is left i put certain base in it so i put in certain amount of uh window cleaner which is again a base ammonium hydroxide and as you can see the color changes to pink so phenolphthalein gives pink color in a basic solution however it remains colorless with the acidic solution so you can clearly compare phenolphthalein now let's proceed further with the next synthetic indicator the next indicate synthetic indicator which i don't have it here is methyl orange methyl orange is orange in color as the name suggests but in acidic solution it turns red in basic solution it turns yellow very very important okay the next indicator is the universal indicator so we have this universal indicator strip here now again i take one of the strips of this universal indicator this universal indicator is greenish yellow in color now this universal indicator would behave similar to a ph scale so in the ph scale the acids would be indicated with red and the bases would be indicated with shades of blue so i take this universal indicator i drip it in lemon juice and as you can see it turns 
orangish red indicating that as uh, the lemon juice is acidic citric acid is present now the next is the same i'll conserve the paper for now okay so with the same universal indicator i spray the window cleaner again which is a basic solution and as you can see it turns blue so the chart you have it here you can compare it with our findings and see how it actually happens so universal indicators sim behave very very similar to the ph scale now the ph scale we have mentioned it again here so tomato uh, tomatoes which are having oxalic acid are weakly acidic however our stomach acid is highly acidic on a ph of 1 similarly water as we know is neutral but stomach medicines antacids as we said which uh, or milk of magnesia magnesium hydroxide is weakly alkaline however bleach is a strong alkaline in nature so with this pH gradient we have the bases which are indicated by shades of uh, the acids which are indicated by shades of red the bases which are indicated with shades of blue so summarizing the various indicators again four natural and three synthetic so the litmus is a natural indicator from lichens the blue litmus turns uh, the blue litmus turns to red in a acidic solution we remember this as a bar chocolate bar that we eat so blue litmus b for blue r for red changing in a acidic solution and that's how we remember it and vice versa red litmus changes to blue in a basic solution china rose hibiscus the common flower turns green uh, the solution turns green in a basic solution pink in a acidic solution turmeric remains same in acidic solution but in a base it turns brick red as we have seen in our demonstrations then red cabbage remains red in acidic one but turns green in basic so remember both china rose and cabbage behave similarly they turn green in a basic solution very very important then synthetic indicators phenolphthalein a good synthetic indicator turns pink in a basic solution as we have understood then we have universal indicators universal indicator in a acidic solution would become red and in a basic solution would turn blue and then methyl orange turning red in acidic solution and yellow in basic solution so this was a quick recap of the various indicators